Today, I'm going to show you five keyboard shortcuts to help you save time and work more efficiently in Photoshop. Hey guys and welcome to Flurn. My name is Aaron Nace and you can find me on Flurn.com where we make learning Photoshop and photography fun. If you guys are interested in working faster and more efficiently in Photoshop, there is no better way than to learn your keyboard shortcuts. So in this quick episode, we're going to give you our five top keyboard shortcuts to help you work faster and more efficiently. All right, let's go ahead and jump into Photoshop. Our first keyboard shortcut will help you zoom in and out of your images very, very quickly. Okay. Jumping into Photoshop, we're going to start, I'm going to hit F for full screen. Now, I prefer to work in full screen. That's not the keyboard shortcut, it's just a bonus. Now, when it comes to zooming in and out of your pictures, there are a few different ways to do this. You can go here in your navigator window. You can click on the mountains to zoom in and out. You can hit Command or Control plus or minus to zoom in and out of your image. But my favorite keyboard shortcut is to hold down first, hold down your space bar. And if you're on a Mac, it's going to be Command. If you're on a PC, it's going to be Control. So space bar and Command, which will bring up your little zoom icon. And then you can just simply click and drag in and out of any area you'd like to zoom in. So from way out here, if I'd like to zoom into her eyeball, just hold space bar, Command or Control, and click and drag right into there. And as long as you drag from the left to the right, you're going to zoom in and out. So it becomes very easy to work in multiple places within your document. And of course, you can use just spacebar for the hand tool to work around your image. So for instance, if you're retouching and you need to zoom in, then you can just hold down the spacebar for your hand tool and you can zoom out and check your results really easily. So there's our first keyboard shortcut. Hold down the spacebar and command to zoom in and out of your image real quick. Our next keyboard shortcut will allow you to change brush size and hardness with one swift movement. So jumping into Photoshop, I use the brush tool all the time, whether I'm on a layer mask or retouching my subject. Now, there are a few relatively slow ways to change your brush size and hardness. You can right click and here you can change your brush size, but I don't, I don't get a great preview of what it looks like in my document until I go outside of this window and I'm like, eh, nope, that's not the right size, not the right size. Yeah, that looks about good if I were retouching an eye. And you can change hardness here as well. So this is a relatively slow way. It will work, but it's a little bit slow. You can also change your brush size by using the open and close brackets on your keyboard. But my favorite technique will allow you to do this on the fly. So if you're on a Mac, it's going to be Control and Option. Hold both of those down. Control, Option, and click and drag. If you're on a PC, it's going to be Control, Alt, and right click and drag. So let's go ahead and give it a shot. Hold down Control and Option. Now if I click and drag from the left to the right, we're going to be able to change our brush size very quickly. And if I go up and down, this is going to allow me to change my hardness. So for instance, if I want a small soft edge brush, all I have to do is click and drag to the left and up. If I want a large a hard brush, just drag to the right and down. So I've got a ton of control over what I'm doing with my brush with this simple keyboard shortcut. All right, should help you save a lot of the time, especially when you're working on layer masks. The next keyboard shortcut will allow you to change layer opacity with just the touch of a button. So to change layer opacity, first let's go ahead and make a layer. I'm going to grab an adjustment layer. We're going to go to hue slash saturation. And in this case, I'm going to click here on my blues. We're going to use our eyedropper to click on our background. And I just want to change the hue of the background. There we go. We'll just change it to this nice pink color. Now, if I want to lower down the opacity of this layer, I just want to lessen this effect a little bit, you can go right over here to your opacity slider and simply click here and drag to lower the opacity of that slider. But I find that this can be a little bit distracting, especially because you have to look over here to change the opacity of the layer itself. Okay, you can also type in a, name, a number. The fastest way to do this is to simply use the numbers one through zero on the top of your keyboard. So for instance, if I want this layer to be 10% visible, just hit the number one and it's 10% visible. If I hit the number five, it's 50% visible. If I hit the letters, the number zero, it's going to be 100% visible. Now let's say we want a, a, an even number, like I want it to be 36% visible. Just hit three six quickly and it'll become 36% visible. 
So this will work on any layer. Now be sure you're not selected on your brush tool because for instance, if I have my brush tool selected and I hit the number five, you're gonna see it's gonna change the opacity of my brush, okay? So in order to make sure it's going to change the opacity of the layer, make sure you're on your move tool, which you can get by hitting V on your keyboard shortcut. So V for your move tool, and then any number on the top of your keyboard will change the opacity of that layer. All right, there we go. How to change the opacity of a layer with one button. Layer masks are one of the most commonly used tools in Photoshop, and by default, there is no keyboard shortcut for a layer mask. So in this tip, we're gonna show you how to add a keyboard shortcut to create layer masks on a new layer. I'm gonna start off by creating a heart around my subject. So let's go to our custom shape tool, and we've got our shape set up as a heart, and I'm just gonna click and drag a nice heart right there. I think it fits with this image, and I wanna use a layer mask to make this not visible over top of my subject. And layer masks are used all the time. I'd love a keyboard shortcut to just add a layer mask and then I could just start painting black with my brush tool, but there is no layer mask by default. So let's go ahead and create one. I'm gonna go to edit, down to keyboard shortcuts, and here we're gonna see a list of all of our keyboard shortcuts. For instance, if I go to file menu, we can see our keyboard shortcuts right here. Now the layer mask is in the layer menu. So let's go ahead and open up our layer menu and I'm gonna scroll down here. You're gonna see, for instance, each of the items in your, there we go, in your menu. And here we're gonna come upon layer mask. And you can see there are no keyboard shortcuts for anything here in our layer masks. So I'm gonna to go to reveal all, which will create a white layer mask and click right here under where it says shortcut, just go straight down and click right there. And then simply hold down the buttons you want to create your keyboard shortcut. In this case, I'm gonna use Shift, Option, and Command, and hit M for mask, okay? Now you can set up your own keyboard shortcut, whatever works for you, whatever you're gonna remember, that's totally okay. Option, Shift, Command, M is the one that I'm going to use here, and we'll hit Accept and OK. So now, when it comes to creating a layer mask, instead of going to my layer mask icon or going to layer, down to layer mask and over to reveal all, I'll simply hit my keyboard shortcut, Shift Option Command M. There we are, and now I can use my brush tool to paint black right over top of this heart. There we go. And it's gonna show up behind our subject's head, exactly what we want. So creating keyboard shortcuts can help you use basically any tool with a keyboard shortcut in Photoshop. Really easy to do, and using it on a layer mask is gonna save you a ton of time. And the last keyboard shortcut that's gonna save you a ton of time will help you export your images out to the web. This is gonna be saved for web and devices. So jumping back into Photoshop, here's what we're gonna go in the file menu. It's file, down here to export, and over to save for web. Now basically anytime you're gonna be putting an image on the internet, I either recommend you doing a quick export as a JPEG or save for web and devices. Okay, now the keyboard shortcut there, let's go ahead and zoom into our image. The keyboard shortcut is Shift Option Command S. So all three of those and hit S for save. Now the great thing about this is this menu will bring up different options for saving for the web. So you can choose a GIF, a JPEG or PNGs. Let's go ahead and choose a JPEG. There we are. We can resize this as well. You know, if it's going on Facebook, it doesn't need to be this big. Let's just make it a width of 1200 pixels and hit enter. There we go. You can zoom in here. It'll give you a preview of what the size is going to be. In this case, it's 355 kilobytes. Okay. And it'll make sure to convert to sRGB so it'll save properly and display on the web. So let's go ahead and hit save. There we go and we'll just save this, it's an Adobe stock image. There we go, and we are good to go. So Shift, Option, Command, S will give you save for web and devices. It couldn't be easier, guys. If you love Photoshop as much as I do, go ahead and click on your screen right about now. We'll send you free episodes every single week. And if you have an idea or a question or comment about today's episode, simply leave it in the comment box right down below. I'd love to hear from you. Thanks so much, guys. I'll flirt you later. Bye, everyone. And in today's episode, we're gonna show you. Hey guys, and welcome to Flirt.
my name is. Le, le, le. 